Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, and particularly students and young minds. Today we are privileged to have with us Padma Sri, Dr. Pralha Ramaraji, an eminent Indian missile scientist, former Vice Chancellor of Defence Institute of Advanced Technology, and former Director of Defence Research and Development Laboratory, which is the largest of DRDO laboratories in India. And uh, it was during his tenure as a director, DRDL, he initiated projects such as Astra, air to air missile system, and long range surface to air missile system for naval applications. He was honored with Padma Sri by Government of India in 2015. Today, really, we are all privileged that we are having among us Dr. Pralpa Ramaraji. Namaste, sir, and welcome. I, on behalf of a large community of students and young minds, express my cordial greetings to you. And uh, you have been the recipient of uh, Padma Sri. Since your college life or student's life journey to Padma Sri, just can you share some of your highlight experience, sir? See, uh, when I joined the Defense R&D in 1981, I met uh, Dr. Kalab, who was uh, actually informed that he will come and take over DRD. So he was ready. He came to meet me and I am one of the young scientists to have met him. So I have seen him from 1981 to till he passed away. So I have seen him as a scientist, I have seen him as an engineer, as the head of a department and the director of a laboratory DRDL. Then he became chief controller. Then he became the secretary to principal secretary to government of India. Then he became the president of India. So I have seen throughout his life. And I am very privileged to say that I, I treat him almost like a, my mentor. He was my leader. He was the first project director in the, in the country. And uh, he's a great human being. The way he, he lives with people is amazing. And also, his way of solving technical problems, this one has to learn. How he, see, he is able to do satellite launch vehicle problem solving, missile problems he took, Agni missile he took. Then he joined the group of uh, atomic energy team to participate and lead a team for doing the first fusion uh, bomb. So you can see this variety is very good. So, I, have, I learned a lot from him, how he is able to manage so many things, so wide, diverse areas, radars, missiles, radar mix, materials, propulsion, handling human beings, failures, and then uh, tough people, you know, once you are on a team of a thousand people, there are some tough people, there are some idiosyncrasies will be there, how you land out, people will upset him, people will trigger him, he will not get upset. I learn many things. So I owe I mean, my complete growth of my profile to Dr. Kalam, who was almost like a father figure for me. Because I was just around 30 years when I met him first. Then till last day I was with him. So it's very nice. He has shaped my mind, my thinking, my interaction, my understanding, my handling of technical problems, people handling, human resource, university interaction. And uh, that's where we learn the power of youth, how young students in universities can contribute in a big way to different. And the engineering from the industry, small scale, medium scale, large scale industry, how they can make life very comfortable by participating with the aerospace. So these things I learned from it, how to harness the strength of youth, how to harness the strength of academy, how to harness the strength of industry. These are three major things I learned. In addition to that, we worked on global partnering. We worked with Israel, we worked with Russia, we worked with France. How to work with other countries? This also I learned from him. So I owe a lot to him and I am what I am because of Abdul Khan. Exactly the same reflection we can feel today that you are highly conducive with simplicity in living and high thinking and big dreams. And I hope that uh, you are such a legendary scientist who is talking to such simplicity it will be definitely inspiration to all the students. And you have been inducted at a very early age 
to this high responsible post maybe that is the salute to the person who picked up such a nice scientist at the early time and you have been instrumental in making various landmark technologies like missiles like this akash prithvi agni according to you what, what is the most significant contribution from your side see two things uh, uh, the country has uh, mastered tech to come one is uh, uh, we have developed a submarine launch ballistic missile which many people do not know it is a very highly classified because the india wanted a submarine launch to long range missile of 1000 2000 kilometers because submarine launch means people don't know where is the launch point see the agni is launched on ground so people know agni launch base but submarine is moving in the water under water no one knows where it is so it becomes a very secret from where the launch takes place so it difficult to handle so kalam said we should make a submarine launch cruise missile for indian navy so he worked with indian navy that was a part of the submarine launch missile program we developed a very very classified way and that is now in operation great it is very simple this one which he has given to the country something which is unique you can get it the technology you can get your to hand and learn yourself this one thing second is uh, supersonic cruise missile that is the missile normally goes uh, at low altitude at a low subsonic speed is maybe 200 to 300 km per hour three km per hour whereas he said let us have a cruise missile which flies very low 10 meter 30 meter 50 meter but very high speed like uh, 3000 km per hour can we have this side so he said that, that is the future that is supersonic cruise missile should be done so he took the leadership for that we found that one or two areas we are weak we will take time then uh, when we visited russia for something else for our cars and we will win there then he was exposed to a a, a small a, 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 company who is developing a technology for supersonic cruise missile so they invited kalam to please come and see we went and saw then he said this is what we need to have a supersonic cruise low altitude to go to high speed we don't mind working with russia part with part with russia so government of india made the first time a jv joint venture project with russia where the indian government gave percentage of equity russian government gave the balance percentage of equity and we made a joint venture program called brahmos brahmos comes from my talking about yesterday brahmaputra missile from brahmaputra is river from india moscow moscow river from russia so we joined this two called brahmos brahmos so this is a landmark or two reason one is there are only two countries in the whole world with this technology what we are doing super sonic cruise high speed missile second is is a joint venture both russia and india participated both of them have this technology in the this is a wonderful thing thanks to kalam his vision so vision so these two things are major things what he did super sonic missile super sonic cruise missile for agni program we will do Recently, we launched 5,000 kilometer Agni, which is the one which is the biggest answer for any other threat from all over the world. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great, sir. So you are pioneering making local products as the technology for national defense or even some global solution or space research. But do you find any such potential that can be transformed for national defense or economic growth from this region of Tripura or Northeast? Any potential such thing? See. Uh, yesterday fortunately i had spent some time with the deputy chief minister of tripura he went and met him he is a minister of science and technology also so he wanted to sort of pick my brain in science and technology because it is very interesting i was surprised that tripura has a science center in um, 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 uh, um, um, uh, science center i went and visited and the minister the deputy chief minister told there is a science center coming up in agartha he said two three months we ready to come and see yes. how we can do that that means this he wants this entire ecosystem 
to be a science and technology growth to take place. Exactly. Young people should be open, thrown up challenges. So how we can do? So then I think one idea was generated. See the movement of people, movement of goods in North East is very different. Because with terrain, geography, heavy rain, then uh, landslide, earthquake, so many things are happening. But we need a low cost, poor man's transportation from place to place for the eight states what we have. So then we are developing in the defense, it's called Eurostat and ASC. That is, you have like a big balloon which is filled with uh, helium gas. So you lift it, go up 200 kilometers, 100 kilometers, come down, leave the goods or the services or even a vehicle you can leave and then go back. You can use for disaster management, mm -hmm. also for transportation of human beings, patients, mm -hmm. also you can go for uh, you know, goods, you want to transport heavy machinery you can go. Mm -hmm. So can we do it? Can we, we discuss this technology in a laboratory in uh, Agra, mm -hmm. we have in Agra, in laboratory, who is developing this technology. We already made a uh, few numbers mm -hmm. and uh, demonstrated to the Air Force. Air Force will keep. So I suggested to the Deputy uh, Chief Minister that if you are interested for North East, mm -hmm. this is a wonderful solution. It's a low cost, mm -hmm. safe, very safe, it doesn't require a runway, nothing required. You have to take the balloon in a, in a truck for parking, you, uh, you just blow it and it will take the lift, you know, 10, 10 people you want to lift from place to place, and then so you move and then it, it will not crash, it will not crash, mm -hmm. it will be a small engine. It doesn't require a big engine. It doesn't make sound. Quiet. It's very quiet. It's very stealthy. It's very stealthy. You know, you can't see even here. Mm -hmm. So it's very safe for transportation requirements of the North East. So he was highly, uh, he was highly you know, enthusiastic. You know, you come and tell me, you generate a white paper, share, we will discuss with our you know, mechanism, I will discuss and then come back. That may be a very good solution. It will help your economy to grow, yes. employment generation take place, movement of agricultural products from place to place, mm -hmm. emergency handling, yes. flood situation, anything you can handle and it is made in India, no import required. Yes. Completely produced in Indian industry, you can use it and cost is also very low, I want to. So this is a good solution which we worked out yesterday. I think there is a huge scope for to think together yes. and work with the young people. Because you are very smart people. And, uh, very high literacy rate, sir. Very literacy rate is very high. <laughs> Enthusiasm is yes. very high. Yes. Yesterday I met about 300, 400 uh, boys and girls. They were asking so many interesting questions. They were all, you know, they, they want more time, unfortunately. <laughs> I couldn't give. But uh, there is a scope yes. for North East to be a different uh, way you can live technologically and you have a good energy source yes. but you need a transportation yes. for both agricultural products and engineering products and also you for uh, health care and wealth yes. yes. this is a good uh, idea that has been taken uh, yesterday mm -hmm. and I hope it will uh, stay shape. Sir, Tripura has a new Tripura Space Application Center under Tripura State Council for Science and Technology Government of Tripura. Also, we are having ISRO Innovation Center under NIT Agatala. So, I am sure that in the very near future, maybe two, three more visits by you can really guide us to have something extraordinary so that we can combat several problems. And, sir, we first said there is a mantra in uh, space technology that more to accommodate in less space. <laughs> now, this is required to every individual. So, how you can sir, carry the message to the very household system that more accommodating, less space, less money. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happens is called integration of multiple technologies. See, today you see the mobile, mm. it has got the microwave, it has got navigation, it has got computer, it has got camera, it has got the processor, everything is got. Yes. So, many, many features have been now condensed microelectronics mm -hmm. and lot of software, this is so much of software. Now this is going to happen, further happen, more and more together. Excellent example you have given, that mobile is one of the integrated solution now, people are trying to yeah, <laughs> It will happen. Great. Now second thing is, now the next revolution taking place is artificial intelligence. Yes, sir. No, artificial intelligence will change the way you do healthcare, you do engineering, you do education, already you have seen 
how education has been metamorphosed. Even small children are in front of the computer to, to say, learn, yes, learn the basics of mathematics. Yes, so, it is going to happen. So, education or healthcare or even agriculture, the way you use AI in agriculture is going to be phenomenal. So, you have a nice opportunity, complete being a highly educated community, a young community, relatively smart community in the eight northeast states. You can take a lead in AI. Yes, sir. I think you have to create a AI center. Sir, we have uh, one artificial intelligence specialization center under NIT Agartana. Just no. uh, it has started in a very nice way. Now, you try to see so what happens I think. The academic institutions will teach academy. But I want you to say, you please teach application. Sure, Don't sir. focus academic, they only have a lot of program. No. Sir. What application? Sir. How I will use AI for improving my agriculture in, in Northeast? Can I get more uh, better products, faster movement, better return to this farmer? How? And I will not lose any uh, wastage I can yes. reduce, better fertilizer. You application oriented AI. Please take NIT. I am very happy NIT is taking a lead. Application oriented AI development, try to do. You can do all industry. You need not be only academic industry and, and encourage startups. Yes. Like, in, like you know, Bangalore and Hyderabad mm -hmm. are, and uh, Delhi and Bombay are leading startups. Mm -hmm. But I want you to lead, the Northeast to lead yes. startup industry in Aizawar, in uh, Megalaya. Why not? Sir, our state government has started one initiative, New Generation Innovation Network and Startup. Okay. And they are supporting various academic institutions with good amount of intensive hand holding and also encouraging people that come up with startup. And they are ready to fund also. Yes, yes, yeah. sir. Wonderful yeah. system. And in view that you know, startups and with the accelerator, yes, the mentoring, yes. mentoring, incubation center, I think uh, you will have a very good opportunity. See, you, you have got one more advantage which are not there in the bigger cities. Mm -hmm. See, bigger cities, young people have a lot of diversity, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. the, you have seen, you know, there are so many things, some are good, some are not good. Mm -hmm. But attraction is more for young people in big cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, mm -hmm. and Whereas here, in, in this city, they are equally competent, but less diverse. Yes. They can focus better yes. and do better. So please, uh, harness this strength of uh, North East and you go move fast. Yes sir, we require now very proper hand doing and mentorship by right. like people you periodically may come and guide us sure. and definitely yeah. very good sir. No, I think, in fact, already the deputy CM told you come after two months for inauguration of the science center. You yes, come sir. with the <laughs> science and uh, I also heard in the Institute of Engineers in having their uh, your enclave. Okay. Will have, I will try to sure, come, sir, sure, so sir. that I will contribute to what is the best I can do. Sir, uh, recent pandemic experience has changed a lot of our uh, lifestyle and a lot of our that means way of thinking into life. Uh, I hope the young minds, they require a lot of uh, identification into problem and solution after this pandemic situation. Sir, can you guide how the education system can be different after this pandemic situation? or very young child to even college people. No, no, I agree. See, they have to think totally differently. Mm. See, one example I tell you, I recently saw in Hyderabad, uh, there is an IIT Gowarty graduate called Prem Kumar. Mm. He graduated just two, three years ago mm. from IIT Gowarty. Mm. So, he came to Hyderabad, he, is, he started a startup mm -hmm. for a drone. Mm -hmm. Drone as a startup. So you get a small setup for 15 20 people made a drone. Mm -hmm. Now that drone he is able to move medicines, mm -hmm. even vaccination medicine, mm -hmm. from one place to another place by mm -hmm. purely mm -hmm. using artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And so for 20 kg you want to send vaccine mm -hmm. from say from state of uh, Tripura you want to send it to uh, say Manipur. Mm -hmm. The best way is for you fix it to the drone. You program it, it will go deliver in Manipur and come back. Mm -hmm. See, this year demonstrated in uh, Assam. This is gentleman that demonstrated. See, that is the way the youth people will be excited. How can I contribute? Artificial intelligence, the drone hardware, yeah. then uh, man, the, how to fix the drone, medicine to the, uh, to the drone, how it will release it, how it will keep it, how it will not misguide it. 
how it will be safe, all that the channel, the only end people can do. So they will be thinking creatively how it can be safe. So this is a good opportunity. I think that is one example you can do it. Sure, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, the building where I actually, our office is there, that is named after Dr. Eitish Abdul Kalam. And there are a lot of quotes tested. One of the quotes I just want to uh, share with you recognize the strength of every individual is the key strength of the nation. So now, probably, last few years, the mindset of the whole country has stimulated some level. So, how to recognize the strength of every individual? See, there are two things I have noticed in the last uh, almost, you can say, 50 years of my interaction with the young people. One day, the capability of the youth is extremely high. We underrate. I think I get tired, I am overloaded mentally, physically, it does not come. You have a capability given to you by nature, by God is fantastic. You don't use, they say you will use 15% of brain power. Say so 80% percent you don't use. Muscle power, you again you don't use whatever you can give. So because we are used to comfort to life. So one is first to remove from your mind that you have limitation. You can do many things, number one. Number two, what we have seen, see when uh, first time when Abdul Kalam came, we were a small laboratory, we were having only 100 scientists. He said, I want to improve to 500 scientists. How to improve? Uh, then the very long. So he said, no, I will do that special approval. He went to some 10 institutions in the country and talked to the people and hired find engineer within one month. When they were deployed all yes. over the country, the way these young people have shaped in no time, no yes. time. amazing. And yes. they have become the backbone of the ecosystem of science and technology in the country in many, many parts. Yes. So please let the recognize the strength of the youth, their capability, their enormous amount of energy. They are packed with energy, please harness. And you will get wonderful results. And every individual has a strength. There is nobody with zero strength. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> sir, now we live in technology and we live with technology. But that is also some drawback for the youths. We recent past have studied and find out that youths are mostly wasting time with lot of digital distraction. <laughs> which is also our future that digital and communication and other information. Sir, sir, how to utilize that digital See, systems? Anything you take high technology, there are always associated challenges. There is nothing like a zero problem. Mm -hmm. See, you want to, for example, you want to build a huge power station for meeting the power requirement. Power station will have some problems of tech, you know, pollution, waste this income. But then you have to see, the integrated way you have to see. So even if you want to do any other IT related, you have to see in an integrated way. Mm -hmm. See, for example, many people say, if you bring artificial intelligence, then are you going to lose the intellectual capability of the individual brain, human brain? It is not so. You can augment it. Mm -hmm. So the way you can see is what is important. Don't always look at only mm -hmm. one aspect. You look at all the aspects. Then you can see in an integrated way, you can find solution. Otherwise, if you do in a, in a what do you call it as a, uh, in a small, narrow-minded way, then what happens, you see only small, Problem solution. You see, across the multiple areas, you will find the total solution. Maybe it takes some time. You have to see. So you have to bring a teamwork. That is the individual excellence. Yes. Then you will get it. I think India has the capability, and we are going to generate solutions which many countries will be studying because we have the highest percentage of youth available for both services and innovation. India. So let us harness it and uh, probably have the privilege of enjoying the benefits. Great, sir. So our country is having such wonderful scientists. And uh, if our youths and the larger community can only regulate their strength, I hope this country is definitely the best in the world and it will be becoming as the best technological uh, hub also. Now we feel to talk the whole day, but you know time is always a constraint. Today, whatever the summarization we got, that is the highest potential. The students, every people, every person is having some unique strength. We will all find out how the strength can be utilized, integrated, and come up with a societal uh, solution. 
with that we come to the wonderful interaction session i hope that will be landmark and uh, inspiration to you all and we all say you bye but we will be wishing that we will be meeting very soon sir yes. once again in agastala yes. artipura yes. namaste to you thank you